Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to another Game Boy game playthrough. Today we're here with Kirby's Dream Land, created in 1992 by HAL Laboratory. You may know uh, a certain Masahiro Sakurai from HAL Laboratory, the, the creator of Kirby and also of Super Smash Brothers. So that is uh, his legacy. Kirby is one of many aspects. Now, I have uh, only played one Kirby game in my day, and that Kirby game was Kirby's Epic Yarn. So, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of trying to get the idea of a control here. It looks like I can hold up to fly. Kirby can just fly infinitely, so that's cool. And I can tap B to inhale and tap B to exhale. And I can go in by pressing up. Yeah, Kirby just being able to fly is pretty crazy. What do we have at the bottom? We have a score. SC is a is score, I guess. And then we also have a little life bar. And I guess right now we have uh, we have uh, four Kirby's available for us. Now this game is supposed to take a little under an hour, and it's not supposed to be tricky. I was watching. If you don't know Masahiro Sakurai these days, you may know him as a YouTuber. He has a YouTube channel both in English and in Spanish called Masahiro Sakurai on Creating Games, and he does little, like, uh, I don't know how you would describe it, like, mini-lectures, I guess? On different aspects of creating games. And one of the topics he discusses are the games that he's helped make, and Kirby was one of them. This game, Kirby's Dream Land, was one of them. And he said that the reason why Kirby was made to be able to fly was because he wanted him to be appealing to everyone. And so, you know, if you, have a, if you have a hard time on a level, being able to just fly through it um, means anyone can play the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, I wish you would have designed it specifically for me, though, because I am uh, failing miserably. Kirby can literally fly over all the enemies, and I'm still having a bad time. But yes, Kirby was designed to be, you know, he's cute, he's cool, and you can make him do all sorts of fun things. Like I said, the only Kirby game I've ever played is Epic Yarn. I died on level one. On Kirby. Kirby's Dreamland. Kirby's Epic Yarn is a great game, by the way. It was on the Nintendo Wii. So, you know, you have a Wii somewhere. Everyone does. It's like, you know, part of the requirement for being a, a gamer is owning a Nintendo Wii. So, if you ever get around to, you know, digging that thing out, see if you can come across a copy of Epic Yarn. I don't know how much they go for these days. But they've done a lot of, uh, they kind of took, like, the stylized version of Epic Yarn and kind of made it into a Yoshi thing with, uh, like, Wooly World and Crafted Worlds. But, you know, we're having a good time! And Epic Yarn was a blast. Okay. I need to get an extra Kirby, if you please. I've accidentally gone and, uh, lost a life on something silly, and it's bothering me immensely. So I would appreciate it if I could get a free life. I can get through these blocks. I don't think I realized that. What is the advantage of that, though? No advantage. Maybe that's just a proof of concept? So now we can be on the lookout for those when we see them? Oh, wait, I see an M! The M stands for Mega. This is the thing in Super Smash Brothers that lets you, uh, get all your health back. So I guess that's what it did for us just right now. Great! We have life back. We can exit out of here and begin our descent. Oh, Kirby was, like, falling super flat. Boink. Oh boy, okay, wait, this is the boss. Okay. Okay, wait, this isn't tricky. This is not tricky. This is the Whispering Woods guy from, uh, the Dreamland stage in Melee. Wow. We're doing great. Keep it up. Oh, shoot. I was gonna just fly, but this will work too. Yikes. Boom. Oh, threw it the wrong way. Get him. There we go. Okay, good. Don't mind me, I'm flat to the ground, flat to the ground. By the way, Kirby was not pink in this game, uh, because color did not exist. So, fair reason, honestly. Oh, I feel bad, now he's a crying tree. Oh, they kept the victory song, that's that's so cool. This is the song that they play in Epic Yarn too. but it looks like it's like the Kirby song. Okay, stage two is Castle lo 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 Castle lo 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 but I'm just gonna say Castle LOL. It's like an Animal Crossing. Yikes! In Animal Crossing, there's the the club. 
I eat your microphone. Ooh, nice. That's like the first little bit of a cur There's no copy abilities in this game, I don't think. So don't be on the lookout for a copy ability. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna say? I don't remember what I was gonna say. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, yeah, in Animal Crossing, I remember now. Oh, shoot, it's the mask! That mask is creepy. Right, but, what I was gonna say is, in Animal Crossing, there's Club LOL, where, or, that's in New Leaf, actually. I don't know if it's in the new, new game. But there's Club LOL. That's for, like, it's like a comedy club, and, like, sometimes KK Slider would perform there. But I, I thought it was Club 101 for the lo longest time. And I remember Googling, is it Club LOL or Club 101? And someone on Google was like, it's a comedy club. They don't teach you, like, school there. You know, it's like, Geometry 101. So, that's how I found out it was Club LOL. The other thing I was going to say was about the mask enemy, but he's gone now, so we won't talk about him. Instead, we can talk- oh, I'm invincible. Cool. Instead, what we can talk about is, uh... Is my Game Boy gaming habits. I've been playing a lot of Game Boy games here on the channel. Sort of in just, like, one episode, uh... Or one, not episode per se, but one uh, video, like, mega episodes where I play the whole game at once. And this is just another one of those. I have done Super Mario uh, Land 1 and 2. And also... Yikes, that's bad. Uh, yeah, Mario Land 1 and 2, that's it. That's all I've done so far. But if those are interesting to you, then, uh, hey, feel free to check out the playlist linked in the description. And maybe you can you can give them a watch if you feel so inclined. Okay, I need to grab this. There we go, and spit it back. There we are, okay. Yeah, I need to like know where to be beforehand. There we go. Great, that was tricky. We'll take the bottom path. See where that leads us. Can I interact with these at all? I'm pushing buttons, but I'm not getting results. We'll go through this top one. Oh, there's like a bunch of masks. Yeah, this is scary. If I were Kirby, I would be frightened. No need, though, because I can just escape. Ow! How dare you? Okay. Ow. Give me this. Oh, it's making me invincible, I think? Nope. Oh, yes, invincible. Not inv- like, half invincible? What the heck? Sakurai, what were you thinking? I don't want to talk bad about this game because it was the very first Kirby game ever, uh, to my knowledge. If I'm wrong, I'll pretend I didn't say that, I guess. But to my, to my knowledge, it was the very first Kirby game. And so we wouldn't want to uh, to hate on the thing that, that led into a, such, a, such a good franchise. If you're wondering, um, Kirby, yeah, Kirby was made by Sakurai, and so, like, in Smash Brothers Ultimate, when there's the World of Light, and all the people get eaten by the light monsters, except for one, and that one monster that survives, not monster, the one character that survives is Kirby, because Masahiro Sakurai couldn't let his Kirby get eaten, he let everyone else get eaten, but honestly, it worked. Okay, nope, um, okay, so I need to... I need to just, I'll just wait up here for one of them to come up here. Here we go. Great. Oh, shoot! I gotta, like, hit and run. Ow! Oh, so maybe I wanna, like, wait here. Go down. Yeah, I'll wait here. And hopefully they come from one side to the other. Nope, I'm just gonna have to tank hits, I guess. There we go. Okay, that works. I'm up, I'm up by one now, so... Hopefully I, I'll just chill here and wait to bait out on this path. Because that way I can grab it and then dip out. As soon as it gets up here. Whatever these enemies are. I guess these are Lolos! From like... Isn't there a game called like The Adventure of Lolo or something? I'm getting trolled by Lolo. Lolo, you need to come down low low to this, this floor that I'm on. Please, Lolo. I don't want to chase you. I don't feel confident in my skills. Come and get me, Lolo. Okay, I'll wait one last cycle. Okay, I'm gonna start chasing Lolo now. I'll wait for Lolo up here. Here we go. There we go. And I was gonna try and escape. Oh, I guess it kind of worked. I have two health and it only has one health, so. Get it! 
Success! Yay! We completed Castle Lololo! Well, look at Kirby dancing. He's breaking it down. Ooh, that's called the football move. Good job, Kirby. Stage 3 is Float Islands. Very cool. I'm curious, honestly, what happens at No Lives, because I wouldn't imagine they would make you game over. But also, then, why would they have a live system if you could just go infinitely? Okay, ooh. This clam guy seems pretty intense. I ate him. I ate him up. Okay, now I gotta watch out for the trees. The trees are trying to attack me as well. Great. I will be on the lookout for the trees. And I don't know what he is. I guess he's a Waddle D, right? Did that exist in this game? Oh, do you think King DDD is in this game? I know King DDD. I know Meta Knights. Uh, all those those two are both in um, uh, Epic Yarn. So that's cool. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Oh wait, hold on. Give me this. Silence. Okay. You know I'm gonna hold on. It's there. You go. That's like a a bit of a copy ability. Okay, these are gonna fall. So how do I bait these out? I guess I'll just run for it and then back out. Oh, there we go. I can I can absorb them. It's a good way of handling my problems. Is to bury them within. Nothing up there. So let's go ahead and enter this little cave. I wonder if I should be. I was. I feel like I. I was playing this on the the joystick this whole time. I'm playing on Nintendo Switch, by the way. This is part of the Nintendo Switch online package. And so I've been playing this with uh, online, and I was using the Pro Controller, and I just now switched to the D-pad. I feel like I should probably just play on the D-pad. Okay, that's cruel. And dare I say unusual. Can you jump on them? I guess not. Could have sworn you could jump on them. I feel like I was jumping on them, but you know, whatever floats the boat here. Okay, let's get another one in. Let's yeah, let's clear out a bit of these. Perfect. There we go. So we don't have to worry about going up there at all. Okay, take this snail out. I only have one hit, so I need to do my best to stay alive. In the best. Ooh, let me go up though. Maybe there's a. Oh yeah, I need that. There's an M. And a mega tomato. Perfect. Okay. Smooth sailing to the mega tomato. Perfect. Okay. We have a fighting chance to stay in this game, y'all. A fighting chance. By the way, I don't think I've said it before. But if you're enjoying this, make sure you hit the like button. And if you feel so inclined, why not hit subscribe? I would appreciate that very much. I don't know what this glowing thing does. Oh, it makes me be able to breathe fire. I just have to keep firing, and it'll- I'll fire. And I can lag the Game Boy. I've always wanted to lag the Game Boy. Yay! Oh, a 1-up! I thought this had a 3-up for a second. If we would have been so lucky. We'll take a 1-up, though. 3 lives is enough to keep the, uh, keep the ball rolling. I don't know how many levels this game is. Um, but yeah, feel free to hit subscribe if you're enjoying. Hit the like button. And if you have any Game Boy game suggestions that, uh, you know, I can beat in, in one sitting. Well, let me know about it. And I'll play them. It'd be cool. Yeah, I'm enjoying playing these Game Boy games. Some of them are tricky. Uh, but overall, I mean, they're they're fun. And it's an era I don't think a lot of people pay attention to. Um, especially with, like, the lack of color. I feel like that's a huge, um, like, barrier for some people. And it's the same thing with, like, films, too. Okay. Here we go. I don't know what this enemy is, but this is our boss, so we just need to uh, defeat it by blasting it a whole ton. I, anyway, I feel like it's the same with movies, too, where people will, like, not go and see, like... Okay, what are you doing? People won't go and see black and white movies, or movies with subtitles, because uh, they don't want to, like, read or... Oh, man. Anyway. Don't be afraid to watch things in black and white or read subtitles every once in a while. It'll be okay. Okay, so I need to be a little more strategic with this, I guess. Basically, just for this first part, stay not wherever the, the cannon is. I guess that's how you would go about doing this. Okay, I'm winning bare- Okay, I'm not winning anymore. Let me try and just do do a, a little bit of- a wee bit of spamming. This is the hardest boss fight in the game. This is the hardest boss fight in the game. Let me keep spamming. I don't know. Sorry if you can hear my controller. Got him. Okay, great. 
Success. We did it. With two lives left. We're gonna need a major lives pickup. One of my favorite movies of all time, actually, is in black and white. Vertigo. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. One of the best, I think. I've only seen it once, but... It's one of those movies where I think you need to, like, be prepared to watch Hitchcock's Vertigo. You know? I think there's, like, two different kinds of favorite movies. There's, like, the put this movie on any time and I'll watch it movie. And there's the, like, this movie is a, is a masterpiece. Everyone should watch it. But also, you can't just be like, hey, man, want to order a pizza and watch, like, Vertigo? You'd be like, no, man, you need to, like, set aside an afternoon, like, clear the day, turn off the cell phones. So I like to say my favorite movie of all time is Vertigo. But I can't watch it ever. If, I, if you want to if you want to say, hey, like, put on a movie, my movie that I'll always go to that I'll put on in that instance is Get Out, which is also like a thriller movie. But that is that is a fun fact about me. I really don't like these canon things. I don't like them. They make it hard to uh, progress. You know what I could use right about now? A mega mushroom or a mega tomato or whatever they're called. Give me a mega tomato. Yo, 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 you're lagging the game. Don't lag the game, please. Wow, look at all these enemies that Kirby will eventually be able to copy someday. But not today. Not today, y'all. Why die absorbed? I pressed B to inhale. I only have. No! That's not good. Ooh, I'm lucky I made that. I'm not doing so hot, truth be told. I'm hoping we don't find out what happens when you get a, out of lives, but at this rate, I would not be surprised if it comes our way. This is the hardest first Kirby game ever. Because it was the first Kirby. It's the only first Kirby game. I'm not saying, like, the hardest first Kirby game that you can play. I mean, it's like... This is the first game ever in the Kirby series, and I'm having difficulties, which makes it the hardest first Kirby game. You see the connection? Hopefully. I want to go this way, because I want- No, 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 what is this sea urchin doing? This is a mischievous sea urchin. Is this to the- which way to the mega mushroom? Oh, it blew up. Oh, man. I'm so upset. I have concerns about my gaming abilities. Why do they have to explode? If they would just poof, then we'd have problems solved. You know? I would just be able to, like, chill. And they would just be able to, like, chill. We can go about our existences in peace. What does this do for me? What does this do for- Oh, a secret. What is this? Okay, this is another- This lets me- breathe fire or shoot infinitely or whatever there's the mega tomato yeah i could have used that mega tomato last life kind of worthless oh one up don't mind if i do thank you for the one up i will take that now i have two lives and i'm here in the boss room what do i need to do here do i have to shoot at it um that doesn't seem to be working uh, that does- oh! Oh, I probably have to absorb Waddledees? Oh my god, I'm gonna die again! And shoot at it? There we go, I have to shoot the Waddledees at it. Why are you pursuing me? You're ruthless! Gosh darn lethal pursuer over here- nope, where that's- ay 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 It- okay. Kirby's like really, really floaty. And I know that's probably like the point. But, like, I I do not feel in control of Kirby very often. Oh, for the love of all, that's holy. You need to stand, like, right here and, like, boom, bang. There we go. And then just, like, fly away. There we go. That's the strat. I got the strat now. There we go. And then fly up to the corner. You have to just avoid... You can't really air dodge. Kirby's not really, like, fast enough to dodge in air, I think. So that's my... That's my idea. Is just avoid dodging with Kirby in air. Okay, we have another... 
uh, infinite firing mode, which I guess we can use to get through here. We can get all sorts of prizes. If we want to go back for some prizes. There's no uh, one-ups, so I won't be going too, too far back. It would have been nice if we had gotten a one-up, you know? I would have accepted that wholeheartedly. Ow! Spikes, really? Oh, I'm using the, the joystick again. What does this do for me? Oh, I can continue out this way. Hey, food! Oh, not what I wanted. I was expecting a, uh, a health up. But alas, I just got the ability to throw a lot of power. I don't know if these stars that are falling are dangerous or not, so... Um, they're not dangerous. Okay, fair. Okay, I wanted to clear all that way, and now I can see what's... I thought there was a secret! I thought there was a secret! I thought there was a secret! That's cruel. You can't dangle that in front of me and not give me a secret. I thought there was a secret. That's lame. Okay, gotta be honest, a little concerned with the whole uh, not having many lives thing. Uh, by many lives, I mean not having any lives, I guess I should correct. I have no extra lives. I have not one. If I take too much damage, the game is over. So I- okay, he just spawned, like, in front of me. Okay, this sucks. Um, okay, we have an eyeball now. Is this just the same? Huh. What are you doing? 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 Okay. Yeah, so it's- it's the same- uh, yeah, we're not- we're not surviving this, by the way, y'all. Fair warning, we are just not, uh, not surviving this. Okay. I can kind of chill up top, though. Spit out an enemy. Thank you. Okay, what are you doing? Come down. Come down. There you go. It still goes through! Nope. Ay yay yay. Game over. No Kirby for me. Continue. Continue with Kirby. Yeah, wake him up. Wake that little guy up. Get back to work, Kirby. Sleeping on the job. Okay, it looks like I have to do the whole level again. That's fine. I'll try and be uh, less careless, perhaps. Maybe that will be sufficient to getting me to the end. All right, y'all. I am back. I'm ready to defeat this boss. And I also have a pretty terrible gaming confession. I had to Google a speedrun to figure out how to do this boss, and it turns out the answer uh, is you press the jump button. Uh, in case you're wondering, jump button? Yeah, the jump button I didn't know existed until right now. You see, I'm playing on the Pro Controller on the Nintendo Switch, and there's a lot of buttons that do nothing. And for some reason, in my noggin, I got it through my head that uh, there's a lot of buttons that do nothing on the controller. Like the A button. Oh, well, the A button does something. It jumps. I've so far been doing all my platforming by pushing up on the D-pad. So, that's why the tutorial was invented. And love them or hate them, tutorials are useful in games. And so, now we can defeat this boss with ease. And also just platform in general with ease. That's embarrassing, but we're through. We are through that stage, with four lives going into the next stage. That's what's important. This is Mount DDD, so I guess King DDD is in this, uh, this game. Which leads me to believe this might be the final stage. Because I think T King DDD is, is the boss, I'm not entirely sure, certain. But I, I assume he's, he's the boss, so... I can't wait to use my jump button to inflict a damage upon him. Are these doors? These are doors. Okay. Yikes! Oh, evil mask! Whatever. Whatever, I can jump now. It's game over for y'all. No one can survive me pressing the jump- Hey, Kirby! What are you doing? I got instud! Did I have no health? I wasn't paying enough attention. You know what? Let's do this one because it has the, the tree guy on it. I like the tree guy. So I'm guessing this is like a boss rush. Or like a, a level replay rush of some kind. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful pushing forward. Okay, yeah. Like, why... What do I do 
with the crushing enemy. Do I have to... Oh, I have to collect Kirby. Okay. Didn't know that. Cool to know, though, I guess. Alright, see, yeah, now we gotta face this guy again. But, oh, he might be a little trickier. Not concerned, though. This guy was a breeze. And that's not just a pun because he does, like, the whole wind thing. I just think he was easy. And good, we're done. Sorry to make you cry again, Mr. Tree. Okay, next let's do these twins. The twins were also fairly easy. Honestly, the hardest part of this stage was knowing that I needed to get the Kirby to pass through that door. That was the gosh darn hardest part, because I... You could have fooled me about that one. I got me! Okay, so these are going to be the twins with the blocks again. Which, it's probably a lot easier to beat these twins knowing you can jump. Because, oh, well, really? Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be easier to beat these twins. Gosh, the jump is so fast. That fixes, like, all the problems I had. I was like, Kirby's too floaty. This game doesn't control right. It's just because I wasn't pressing the button dedicated to moving laterally. I was doing it through other means. Yikes, this is bad. Escape! Okay. There we go. I need to be, like, ready for these guys. There we go. And this last one, I can just take him out. Perfect. Uh, next one. Cool. Next, we did this guy. Like, the little air... Oh, my. Coconutted. Are you kidding me? I got coconutted. I'm walking here, and you're gonna coconut me? That's cruel. Um... I know... Okay, it really looks like it wants me to go down. It does, okay. I was concerned. I didn't want to get spiked. Or endless pitted. Okay, this is bad. Ow. Honestly, okay. We will get by. Don't think I can beat this with uh, the little fraction of health that I have, though. So don't be surprised if this one takes more than, uh, more than a single try. Okay. Let's see, because yeah, I, I remember the idea of this one. You know, avoid the cannons. Uh, this is just me showing what you don't do, right? So that's there's there's the sample of what you don't do. Now, now you know that. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one first. Let's just do this one. I just beat this boss, so I'm feeling a little bit better about taking this guy down than about any other ones of the bosses. Here we go. Kirby, get here. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Good to see you again. Uh, don't think I forgot your strategy. At this point, I'm an expert, uh, cloud with one eye battler. So, yeah, try me, dude. Try me. See what happens. Uh, honestly, so far it looks like you're gonna win. But like I say, try me. Boom. Now we're on even playing grounds. What are you gonna do? Send out a guy. Foolish move. What are you gonna do? Send out a guy again? Nope, you're gonna swoop. Well, that's fine. I can dodge. There we go. Oh, hey, you sent out a guy. Thanks. Appreciate that. Now you just have one health left. See ya! That one's easy. Literally too easy. Okay, now I have to do this again. I got coconutted! Honestly, not a fan of the coconut thing. I wish I could get a, uh, a restore. You know, is there a hidden anything around here? What's a guy gotta do to get a... A, a giant, uh, tomato, eh? You know? I'm in the market for a giant tomato. That wasn't ideal. That was bad. Okay, well, one life and a dream. That's all you need. And try and coconut me. Failed. You would try and coconut me. But you would not succeed. I wonder if I get a prize for beating all the enemies. I don't know if that's kind of how Kirby works or what, but it would be nice to get something for doing that. I don't think so. No! That's half your life, dude? For real? That's too much life to lose. Half your life for touching a spike. Holy. Seriously, any 
I need I need help. Well, I guess I'll have to just figure this out myself. There we go. I guess I want to keep my distance as far back as possible. That'll give me the most room to dodge. Yeah, I guess that's just the advice I'm going to give myself is stay as far back as possible so that I can dodge as much as possible. Yeah, that's kind of working. I don't think I've taken damage yet. Good! We did it. Final stage. Can I get this guy in the middle now? This is King DDD, I'm guessing. Here he is. The king himself? What are you doing, king? He's jumping! He's, he's playing jump king! I can't absorb him. I can't absorb him. I also have three health, so... Okay, he's got a hammer. What's, what's the objective with the hammer? Stars. What do I need to eat here? Nothing, I'm, I gotta die. Hey, I've attempted this boss like 20 times. I'm not having a good time anymore. Just thought I'd, I'd inform the masses. Conceptually, the boss fight is not difficult. Uh, in practice, the boss fight is uh, not fun. I'm not having a very fun time as of now. There we go. Like I said, conceptually easy. You have to eat his stars and then, you know, make him make him pay for inflicting stars. But look at his health bar and look at my health bar. And it doesn't help just in general that like I just feel like he has a thousand health. I don't know. Yikes. I'm surprised he did not impact me midair there, truthfully. I think the key is just maintaining like a control of the battlefield. Okay, that you just a WWE stomped me there. Literally nothing I could do. Wow, he's trying to absorb. By the way, this does this looks like a penguin. This is like the penguin from the Mario movie. This does not look like the King DDD we know and love. In, in the modern era. Is King Dedede even a penguin in the modern era? I legitimately do not know. Hey, King, can you do something, please? Uh, a hammer would work, yeah. That's an, uh, an acceptable thing to do. A jump is even better. A jump, I feel, is just so much... E Yo! You know what? I'll counterattack you, sure. You know what? I'm just gonna get out of the way on that one. I need a little more room to wiggle, to maneuver. So... It's important to, I think, keep center stage as as Kirby. Kirby is the center stage star for this boss fight. And so keeping the center stage gives you room to react to the hammer and also the jump. We got him! Yay! That took me a really long time, guys. Actually, it didn't take me that long to be This video is not going to be much longer than a normal length video. Um... But that end of that last boss fight took me really long, and I think I got it down after a while. It just took me some time to get the the process under under lock. That was the final boss, right? I assume boss rush equals final boss, but the credits. Cool. Okay, so that was Kirby's Dreamland. Uh, there's Masa Sakurai. Guess they couldn't fit his full name. Um, overall. If this was your only Kirby game, you'd probably enjoy it. I think it was surprisingly difficult. You know, when- which- you might laugh at me in the comment section, which is fine. But, uh, Kirby, in- you know, in my mind, like, Kirby was, like, introduced to be, like, the way for non-gamers to want to play a game, right? Kirby was cute! Kirby was supposed to be easy! And it was supposed to make children and women, specifically is what I believe Masahiro Sakurai said, uh, want to play games. I would be so frustrated. If that was me. Um, but, I mean, having beat it, I can say that I'm glad that the, uh, that the series continued. I think Kirby gets better in terms of controls. Honestly, this controller is not the best way to play this game. And I think the controller was a flaw. Um, the D-pad's not exceptional. And me not knowing there was a jump button? A little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, but overall, you know, happy to have completed it. Another Game Boy game to put under my belt. And that's just swell to have. I believe that's going to be all Kirby saying bye-bye. That means it's time for me to end the video. That's going to be all for now, though, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. Oh, 
a new adventure, an extra game? I don't want to play an extra game. I want to end the YouTube video. You have to click a thousand buttons. Um, boom, bang, bing. Did I press it? Up, A, and select on the title screen. Oh, I'm not on the title screen. Look at me back to the title screen. I'm trying to end the YouTube video. I gotta go to sleep. I'm tired. Is it gonna... Are we done? I guess we're done. That's gonna be all for now, though, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.